around New Zealand. I commend this bill to the House. Kia ora. Speaker. Kia ora. I call Harite Hipang. Ete mana wakawa te nā koe. I'm entrusted to speak this evening in relation to a proposed piece of legislation introduced by the Honourable Amy Adams. And I put it to the House that this is a worthy piece of le proposed legislation introduced on the 1st of August 2017, and it will replace the Trustees Act 1956 and the Perpetuities Act 1964, legislation that has been complex and over the last 60 years, now is the time to contemplate seriously with the first reading of this passage of legislation, putting it into law. So in addressing matters before I commend this bill to the House, that it is a piece of proposed legislation, a bill that will make trust law more accessible to everyday New Zealanders. This is an excellent piece of legislation proposed by the Honourable Amy Adams, and as a practising lawyer of many years, it's a pleasure to be able to speak and address the House in support of this bill. Trusts are an essential part of our legal system, with around 300 to 500,000 trusts operating in New Zealand Aotearoa today. In fact, many of us here in the House and those who may be listening to the addresses uh, being made this evening will have either had the experience of serving trustees or as beneficiaries of trusts. Ordinary New Zealanders use trusts on a daily basis to manage their finances, and trusts form the economic backbone of the commercial and social sectors. Our current trust law, as I addressed, is unnecessarily complex and difficult to navigate. This bill will seek to simplify matters, ensuring that trust law is more practical, usable, cost-effective, so that families and businesses can manage their affairs with confidence. Under this bill, trusts will provide greater, or under this bill, the guidelines and the clauses within the bill will provide guidance for trustees, much better guidance for trustees and beneficiaries to make it easier to resolve disputes. This is an update of our trust law that is long overdue, as I referenced, six, 60 years. So the proposed reforms will seek to clarify, simplify core trust principles, and make the legislation more useful, fixing practical problems and reduce costs. The reforms will ensure trust law is better suited to the needs of New Zealanders. So, Mr Speaker, in conclusion, I simply say, much has been addressed before the House this evening. I defer to my senior colleague, the Honourable Christopher Finlayson QC, who has gone through and actually identified on his study of the proposed legislation that there is still much that will need to be addressed by the Select Committee in terms of the detail. That is something that I have not turned my mind or my eyes to, but in conclusion this evening, I simply say that this is a worthy bill. It is a trustworthy bill, and I commend the trusts bill to the House. Kia ora. Well done. Well done. I call Willow Jane Prime. Uh, tēnā koutou katoa.